Hey, Seattle kindergartners and first graders. It's Miss Derry here and I'm back. I get to spend a little more time with you today and I'm feeling so grateful for that. I work at Sanislo Elementary School where I help to teach mathematics to kindergartners, first graders, and second graders. And I wanna tell you a little bit about what we're going to do today. We're going to count by 10 and we're going to start at zero, count by 10 all the way to 120. And once we're there, we're gonna turn it around and count all the way back to zero. We are also going to say, hey, let's take on a new challenge. Let's count by 10, but let's start with the number three. And if we started with three and counted by 10, what would our next number be? And what would the number after that be? We're gonna talk about that and make some predictions about some of those numbers. We're also going to play a game called Race Around 10, where we're adding a 10, 10 more, or taking away a 10, 10 less than a number on our game board. Then we're going to take a look at our hundreds grid, and we're gonna find all of that very important work. Oh, you can see this is a hundreds grid I've used recently. We're gonna find all of that very important work that we've just done. It's right here on our hundreds grid. So I'm really looking forward to getting started working with you today, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, mathematicians, let's do our counting from zero all the way to 120. We're gonna count by 10, but first we're going to get our beat going. Our beat is gonna look a little like this, Tap, tap, clap, tap, tap, clap, tap, tap, clap, tap, tap, clap. Join me. Tap, tap, clap. Nice job. Tap, tap, clap, tap, tap, clap. And every time we clap, we're going to say our number. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Good job. Really nicely done. We will keep working with that idea of counting on by 10 and counting back by 10 today. Thank you so much. You're doing such a great job. Okay, mathematicians, let's do this again, but with a new challenge. This time, we'll write down our numbers. So we said we were gonna count by 10, but we were gonna start with three. So let's write three down. And if we look at our hundreds grid and we find three, we're gonna think to ourselves, what is 10 more than three? What is three plus 10? 10 more than three. Let's use our hundreds grid to help us. We can count 10 more on the hundreds grid, but we need to hop and then count. So we'll hop and then count. Let's do that work together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more than three is thirteen. Let's write that number down. And now we're going to think to ourselves, what is ten more than 13. Let's check it out. 3, 13, and we need 10 more than 13. Let's count it out on our hundreds grid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10. 10 more than 13 is 23. I see zero tens, one ten, two tens. Each time we're adding a 10. So let's write that number down, 23. Okay, guys, I think you know where we're going with this. <laughs> what would our next number be? 3, 13, 23. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and shout it out. <laughs> 33. Very nicely done. And what would come next? 43. And what's next? 53. Beautiful job. 3. 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, yes, absolutely, 63, 73, beautiful job, 83, and then 93, really nicely done. What comes here? We're at 93. Let's bring our hundreds grid back in and look and see. 3, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, Let's count and see, okay? We're at 93. Let's count 10 more using our hundreds grid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is that number? 103. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's write it down. 103. 103. And what would come next? 103, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 more than 103 is 113. Beautiful job. 100. 13. I can see the 13 right in the number. 113. Really nicely done. Our number grid ends here, but I think, I think we can figure out the very next number. 113. We have 10 fingers. Let's use them. 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123. Wow, 123. That is a lot of numbers. Let's take a second and just notice what we notice about these numbers. What do you see? What do you think? What are you noticing? Okay. Okay. Okay, I see that too. And I think that's a really important thing to notice. All of our numbers end in three. All of our numbers have a three in the ones place. Let's underline that. That's very important noticing. Three, 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 three. I see a whole bunch of threes too. Really nicely done. What else do we notice about our numbers? Okay, okay. Okay, I see that too. That's a really important noticing as well. Let's look and see. We can see this, this very special thing happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 
Wow. Wow. And there is a zero here, zero tens. It's just three. There are no tens. Zero tens, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens, ten tens, one hundred three is ten tens and three ones, eleven tens, twelve tens. Wow, you really noticed a lot in our numbers today. Let's just take one more challenge here. Let's think about making a prediction. What if we tried to figure out what number went here? number might go here? Eight tens, nine tens, ten tens, eleven tens, twelve tens. What might this number look like? I can just hear you shouting at me. If there are twelve tens here, there are thirteen tens and three ones here, and 14 tens, and three ones here. Really nicely done. And let's underline those three ones because we're keeping track of that. <clears throat> and we'll circle those 14 tens. This number is 143. Really nicely done, superstars. You've done such a nice job with this count, and I want you to keep thinking about what numbers are coming next. Keep practicing that 10 more and 10 less. Okay, mathematicians, let's hit the track, and we're gonna play a game called Race Around 10. I'm gonna turn the camera around, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, superstars, we are all set up to play our game Race Around 10. And the things that we will need to play this game are a die, a hundreds chart, and you have that in your packet, and a counter, something we can use to keep track of what space we're on, on our game board. And you can play this game with one person. You can also play it with more people. Each person has to have their own counter. And today we're just going to play with one person. So we have one counter and we're gonna put it on the start spot. Then we're gonna roll our die, six, and we're gonna move our counter six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna move the counter out of the way so you can see the equation below. It says 16 plus 10. And this is where our hundreds chart is really gonna come in handy. First, we're gonna find 16 on our hundreds chart. And we know that 16 ends in a six, so we can go right to our six column. One hop down on our hundreds chart from six is 16. So let's highlight 16 for just a moment. And Remember, we are figuring out 10 more than 16, 16 plus 10. Do you think our number is going to get bigger or smaller if we add to it? I agree. Definitely going to get bigger. So we can use our hundreds grid to count 10 more than 16, which is the same as 16 plus 10. Let's count together. We're going to hop and then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we landed on 26. So we can say 10 plus 16 or 16 plus 10 is 26. And we can stay right there on the game board. It's time to roll again. 
Oh, four. Okay, excellent. One, two, three, four. And we landed right on this spot. It says 40 take away 10. So back to our hundreds grid, it can really help us. And we are going to look for 40. We know that's going to be in our column of zero, numbers that end in zero, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So once we find 40, we're gonna think to ourselves, 40 take away, 40 take away 10. 40 take away 10, our number is going to get smaller because we're taking away and we can hop 10 spaces. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And it looks like this is the second time when we add 10 or take away 10, we make a hop on the same column. So we were here, we counted 10 and ended up one hop above the number we started with. So 40 take away 10 is 30. Oh, we are making great progress. Let's roll another time. Three. One, two, three. Oh, I love this one. 11 plus 10. Okay, hundreds chart, help us out. 11 plus 10. Where will we find 11 on our hundreds chart? 11 ends in a one. It has a one in the ones place. So it's going to be right here in this column, right? Really nicely done. It makes it very easy to spot it. 11 and we are adding 10. Is our number going to get bigger or smaller if we add 10? Mm, so clever, definitely bigger. And we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or we can just make one hop down on our hundreds chart. We know that making one hop down on our hundreds chart is the same as counting out all of those ones that add up to ten. We can just say, mm, there we go, ten. Excellent job. So we will say that eleven plus 10 is 21. Okay, excellent. That is the marker on that space. And then we're gonna roll again. Four. One, two, three, four. 15 take away 10. 15, where would we find the 15 on our hundreds grid? Okay, yes, 15 definitely ends in a five. So let's look in the five column. Here we are, five, 15, 25, 35, 45. It's definitely here in this column. So we will highlight 15 and we're thinking 15 take away 10. If we take away 10, will we hop down or up on our hundreds grid. Oh, so clever. Up on our hundreds clip grid, we know that if we take this 110 away from 15, we'll have five. Excellent job. So we can say 15 take away 10 equals five. And we can stay right there on that space on our game board. This is the game Race Around 10, and it's a really good way to practice that adding 10, taking away 10. Um, it's just really a fun game, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, mathematicians, do you remember at the beginning of our class, we counted by 10 starting with a zero and went all the way to 120? We're going to try that work again, but this time we're going to start at 120 and count all the way back to zero. We'll still be counting by tens, but we'll be taking away a 10 each time. And we're gonna get our beat going again. And our beat, if you remember, is 
Tap, tap, clap. Tap, tap, clap. Tap, tap, clap. And each time we clap, we're going to say a number, starting with 120 and going all the way back to zero. Okay, let's get our beat going and we'll start counting our numbers. Tap, tap, clap. Tap, tap, clap. Remember, we're starting at 120 and going all the way back to zero. Ready? Let's go. 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Really nicely done. Great counting, mathematicians. Let's get ready for the last thing we get to do together today. I'll meet you back here in just a second, and we're going to take a really close look at our hundreds grid. See you in just a second. We have worked so much with our hundreds grid or hundreds chart today. And now we're gonna take some of the stuff we learned and we're gonna find it on the chart. The first thing we did today was count by 10 beginning with zero. And we went all the way to 120. And I'm gonna add our zero to the hundreds chart right here because this is the column that has all of the numbers that end in zero. And we thought about that. Will that ever change? Hmm. I don't know. Will that ever change? Will all of the numbers in this column always end in zero? Let's see if we can find our count. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, you got it. You can see it already. It's this column right here. All of these numbers end in zero. This was the very first count we did today. The second count we did when we wrote our numbers down, we started with the number three. We were still counting by 10, but our numbers did not have a zero in the ones place our numbers had a three in the ones place. And we asked the same question, will that ever change? I wonder if we can find that count on our hundreds chart here. Our first number was three, and all of the numbers in this count ended in three. Which column would that be on our hundreds grid? Yes, I see it too. The first number was three and all of the numbers in our count ended in three. Very nicely spotted. This is the column we used on our hundreds grid when we started our work of counting by tens with three as our start number. Okay, last thing we have to look for, we counted backward all the way from 120 to zero. Do you think we can find that work in our grid? <laughs> yes, I cannot fool you. We've already shown it counting forward and then we took it around and we counted backward. Do you remember we started with 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and zero. Really nicely spotted. All of the work that you're going to be doing today when you play your game Race Around 10 or any of the other work in your packet, please use your hundreds grid. It is an excellent tool to help us add a 10 or take away a 10. Thank you, Seattle mathematicians. Thank you for all your thoughtful work today. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead, and I'll see you next time.